Hey everybody, Megan here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. So as you can see on my screen right here, I have Etsy pulled up and I have already typed in script stickers. So if you haven't been able to tell by this already in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create script stickers um, that look kind of like this. So um, let me actually go up to, you know what, I'm going to click this one because this is a star seller. So I'm going to show you guys how to create some printable script stickers that look like this, that have the outline around the text and is not just the text. And guess what? You don't need Cricut Design Space. You don't need Silhouette Studio or whatever it's called. All you need is the free version of Canva to do this. So if this sounds like something that you want to learn, make sure to like today's video, subscribe below, and leave any questions, comments, or suggestions that you have for me in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer those for you. So like I said, for this video, you don't need Canva Pro. However, if you do want to take advantage of all that Canva has to offer, then make sure that you check out the link in my description box because I do have a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro to all of you wonderful people who watch my videos, so I appreciate your support. Um, with that being said, we will go ahead and go back over here into Canva and we will start working on this. Um, so if you haven't seen my video about using um, Silhouette Studio and then using Cricut Design Space, then I will link those up here in the description box below so you can take a look at that. Um, this is kind of going to do the same thing except obviously you don't need either of those. So if you don't have a cutting machine, this works just fine. And even if you do have a cutting machine, you can use this and put it into either of those um, other options that I was just talking about. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and go into Canva. Um, before we start making a design, this is very important. If you want to create text like this, if you want to create stickers out of text like this, um, you're going to have to type out the text that you want save it as a transparent PNG and then re-upload it so that you can create like the outline around it. So I'm not going to go through all that with you guys. I'm just going to use some of the quotes that I already have made. Um, if you don't have Canva Pro, um, you actually can't use the transparent PNG function. Um, but like I said, I do have the free 30 day trial and then I will also link in my description box and up here my video about how to get a transparent background if you choose not to use Canva. Um, I know that's always a very good option for you guys, so I will link that. And for the text that I'm actually going to be using for these stickers, it's going to be from some of the Instagram quotes that I made a long time ago. Um, if you guys haven't seen my Instagram quote video, I will also link that. I got a lot of stuff I got to link, but it's all right. I'm here to help you guys. So Wow, that was a lot. We will go ahead and create the design. So for the um, printable planner stickers, let's see. So this says it's got cut files, PDF, and JPEG. Um, let's see. Learn about this item. I just want to see what size sheet this comes in because um, if you use Cricut Design Space, you can't create anything bigger than 6.75 by 9.25 inches. So if I were to do like an eight and a half by 11, it would be too big for Cricut Design Space. Um, so I think I'm just going to stick with that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to create a design right here. And I'm going to go to custom size. If you don't want to do create a design and custom size, you can go up here to this custom size button. And I'm going to change the pixels to inches. And I'm going to do 6.75 by 9.25 inches. So again, if you are totally new to this whole like sticker thing, if you're using a Cricut machine to cut out stickers, you cannot use a design bigger than 6.75 by 9.25 inches. That's why I'm making this. Someone said in the comments of one of my videos that there is a hack to be able to print stuff out bigger than that. So if you guys know what hack that is, then let me know. But as of right now, all I know is this like standard size for Cricut. So um, let's see. So now that this design is open, you're going to want to upload whatever font that you want for your stickers back into Canva. So I know that's a little confusing, but you're going to go over here to uploads. I actually have a lot of stuff uploaded. 
Um, and I actually have some of my quotes uploaded. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to count, not count. I'm just going to click on this one right here and it's a little too big. So I'm going to zoom in and take that part away and I'm going to continue to make it a little smaller and 1.5 by 1.5 inches. Let's make it a little smaller. All right, so right now it's 1.3 by 1.3 inches. You don't have to change this white background to a certain color, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it and you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm just gonna change it to this Pepto-Bismol looking pink. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna highlight this text box and I'm gonna go to edit image and we're going to click shadows. So there's a couple different options for shadows, but for this one specifically to put this outline around any kind of text or anything, you're gonna hit glow. So once I hit glow, this is what it looks like. This is not what we want the end product to look like. So we're going to hit these little, I don't even know what you call these, but this little thing right here. And we're gonna change this around. So we're going to change the blur to zero. Once you change the blur to zero, you'll notice that it's not blurry anymore. So we're gonna move the transparency up to 100. And now it's all black. So part of the reason why I wanted to change this pink background to pink instead of white is because once we get this black part um, fixed the way we want it, you'll be able to you'll be able to see it. So I am going to change this size until there is no little section like this. Now, if you're wanting to cut these by hand, then you don't really need to do this. But if you do want to sell them in like um, a PDF or a PNG format. Um, or especially something for Silhouette Studio, then you don't want any of these extra spaces because it's gonna take the cutting machine a long time to cut out all these little intricate details like this. So we're going to move the size up until there is no spacing. It's just this big black blob. So now that there's a Big black blob around this, I'm going to change this color to white. And there we go. So now the letters have a white outline around them. And that's the reason, like I said, I wanted to change this from like white to a different color because if you just change this to white, then it's very hard to it's hard to make sure that you've actually got the outline around it versus when you change it to a different color. Um, so that's how you make them on Canva. And it is pretty time consuming if you want to do different ones. Now, if you just wanna do this one over and over, then all you have to do is highlight it and duplicate it. So that part's really easy um, if you wanted to just do the same one over and over. Now, if you wanted to do if you wanted to, okay, I keep like hitting these little buttons over here, sorry. So if you wanted to do more than just this quote, then like every time you want to do a different one, then you have to go through that whole process. So let's see. So you'd have to go through it again for this one and then again for this one. And this one's actually kind of complicated because you've got the little heart right here. Um, this is a good way to make script stickers if all you want to do is like do a page of like the same text over and over. Um, but basically all you would do is you would, let me actually make that a little bigger. Okay, so you're going to fill this page up. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, that fits like perfect. Mm, let's see. Okay, I am going to realign these because I don't think... I don't think they're perfectly aligned. 
So this does take a little bit of like trial and error, but you'll see what you'll see what I'm doing in just a minute. Um, all right, so I'm going to position all these to the left, and then I'm going to position all these to the left. All right, so that's just about as even as it'll get. So now what we're going to do is we are going to save this with a transparent background. Um, like I said, if you don't have Canva Pro, it's totally fine. You can just save it as it is and then use my other video about changing stuff into a transparent background to remove it. Um, but from here, you're going to share it and you're going to download it. And we are going to save it as a PNG with a transparent background. I don't know why my voice is like weird right now. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, I feel like the way I've explained it might not make sense, but um, let's see, test stuff. Okay, test. Okay, so now I'm gonna move myself for a second. And this is what you're going to get. So this is what you are going to upload into Etsy for your design. You can also upload this just like it is into Cricut Design Space. And you can upload it into Silhouette Studio. And it'll work just fine. I've done it plenty of times before. Um, so make sure that you take time to put this outline around it. Because if you don't, then your cutting machine is going to cut out every single individual letter and it's not just going to be like one solid sheet. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you've had enough experience with like Cricut or Silhouette to figure that part out. Um, I think I went over that in those other videos. So like I said, check those out if you haven't already. But yeah, let me know if this makes sense or if you have any questions about what I talked about in this video because, I don't know, for some reason I feel like it was kind of confusing, but it might not be. So, again, if you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below, and I will see you all next time.